Well, I've just started an impromptu new project that I wasn't going to start yet. Let's try that again. Um, this is an idea I've had for a little while. I wasn't actually going to start it today, um, but the tools were out anyway. Uh, so I thought, why not? Now, what do you think of that? God, look at that. <laughs> Doesn't look great, does it? It's even got footprints on it and all sorts. Uh, that one's a different colour because we painted it when we were doing the pond. Um, so yeah, it looks awful. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So, first things first, the paint. So obviously it currently looks awful, but that doesn't matter because it's all going to be covered anyway. The only reason I'm painting it is because it's waterproof or weatherproof wood paint. So I'm just sealing everything, getting it all nice and, I don't know, ready. Um, <laughs> nice and professional as always. So yeah, it doesn't matter what the colour is, it's all going to be hidden. But I've just, I've still got some urban slate from one of my previous projects. So it's now just time to start painting. All right. So there's your first coat done. Um, I'm going to do a second coat, but I'm not going to bore you with the filming of it. I'm going to do two because it could really do with making sure that it's nice and sealed because I don't want it falling apart, especially the MDF. That's the second coat all done. It's nice and shiny. Good to go. But like I say, it's all going to be hidden anyway. Um, so next, once this is fully dry, it's time for the fun part. I might have to do the blustery stuff without filming first and I'll come back to you in a bit, maybe. All right, I've just moved things inside just for this bit because it's not really a, a how-to video and a showing you how to set things up if I don't show you how to set them up. Beautiful. See that? Lovely. Um, right, now obviously I only want one fan, so like I did before on the Toke enclosure, which if you haven't seen that one, check it out, where am I, in the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point there and hope I can put something there, but <laughs> check that out after this. Alright, now obviously, alright, I don't know what that was all about, these suck in one way and blow out the other, so we want it sucking through the bottom and blowing out of the top, all right? So, it's going in like that, all right? So, let's get this ready to rumble. And that is the suction section of the ventilation, slash, ducting system. Obviously there's more to do, so let's get on with it. Alright, so I didn't want to bore you with cutting this again as well because it's the same thing, but as you can see, this is the top one that's going to tee off, and this basically is where it's going to send the air in a tee around the enclosure. That is going to go there, basically. So I need to seal it shut, I need to open the flappy doodars, put a hole in there, and then connect them, basically. It's, it's basically as simple as that. All right, as you can see, I've got it to a certain point. It wasn't easy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but we're sort of, ow! We're sort of there or thereabouts. 
Um, it just needs to be buttoned up a little bit better to make sure the flow isn't escaping from anywhere. So in here, um, but I can do that as and when. So now it's time to tidy her up a little bit, make it look a little bit, well, not make it look pretty because I'm not there yet, but it's time to start sorting the background out. Ow, I've done that twice now. Uh, time to do it properly. You're thinking, that looks like shit. Well, yeah, it does. I'm not gonna stand here and say, no, it looks really nice. It looks awful. However, stick around because the vision is there and I'm hoping I'm not gonna make myself look stupid because it's coming. or whatever you want to call them, done and drying. As much as I'd love to carry on for the day, I may have to stop, clean up, and uh, carry on tomorrow. I'm so impatient. I just want to carry on now until the last minute, but I know I'll be struggling if I do that. So, yeah. <laughs> like I say, to be fair, uh, uh, yeah, and this is all inside. Last time I did it, it was in the garden, so maybe it wasn't as bad, but uh, yeah. We out here, day two. I'm eating Reese's Pieces. <laughs> it's dry, it's ready to go, as in more. You'll see in a minute. Um, I'm waiting for some more uh, sealant, some more silicon to turn up, because I might run out. But we're getting there. Today, I'm gonna have a minimum of one coat of grout on there, I don't care. No, even if I have to work through lunch. Yeah, tell you what, manifest it. I'm gonna, if I have to work through lunch, because I'm trying to make this my work, my job, it's getting done today, at least one coat of uh, grout.
really strong enough, no way. All right, I've had another idea as well, just to strengthen things that little bit more. Some of this isn't working brilliantly. Bamboo skewers, yeah boy! So, these ones for example, let's have a look, where does that go into? In through there, all the way through that one, yeah boy. And obviously I'm gonna snip it off, I'm not gonna leave it like that. Now these ones will come in handy if this works. Absolutely full on teach me. Obviously it's not done, as in with scaping and things like that, but oh, good gravy. We will have the first coat of grout on today. Once I've finished carving a little bit, I won't bore you with the last bit of that. But this is looking sick. <laughs> These are sometimes the parts that they don't show you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, this does mean I'm going to have to hoover today. Uh, the whole house. That'll teach me for having hairy arms, won't it? <laughs> I think we're ready for the first coat of grout. Now, bad news for how impatient I am. But good news for, well, the build. I've gone for a bit of a runnier consistency this time because I need it to get into these crooks and crevices and cracks and whatnot. It might take a little bit longer to dry, but that's okay. I have to be patient. I have to, I have to learn patience and it'll be worth it. Thing. See you in a second. That's how we're looking. The fan is in, by the way. I've also put some um, mesh in front of obviously the vent holes, so the one at the bottom where it draws the air in, and the ones that blow the air out so that she can't get in. If I'm being honest, if you look at them up close, they don't look great, but the chances of you 
or anyone or me turning up and going, let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh, that's awful. Very low, so <laughs> don't worry too much. It's been a bit of an effort getting that done. I need to figure out how to do it better next time, but that's why we do these things. But with that being said, I'm not gonna stick around for too long. Let's get painting. <laughs> I think it's done. Listen, I'm not an artist. I, I'm not an artist at all. Um, if you ask me to draw something, it will look like my nearly two year old son has drawn it. I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I'm so glad I did the painting, like the accents as well, like to make it look like there's moss growing on it. Uh, the black in the cracks as well, just to show, you know, just to make him look deeper. Let's have another look. Now here's the thing, some of it will be covered by plants. There's gonna probably be a plant sort of around the vent area. Obviously one in that pot, one in that pot. You've got a ledge, there's probably gonna be a, uh, something hanging, I reckon. I might put something hanging or just a long plant. There's gonna be some stuff across the floor. There's gonna be uh, sticks with things that, like climbing opportunities. Now the plants and things like that you won't see until the next video. So if you've enjoyed this build and you want to see what it looks like in the setup with the plants, with the lighting, with the snake, please hit that subscribe button, the old notification bell, so that will let you know when the next video is up. Um, and just, yeah, stick around because that's going to take it to the next level again. I'm so happy with it. Oh. This has been so much fun. What what a project this has been. I've really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed this. Um, but I'm going to sign out. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any criticisms, critiques, anything, advice, either message me directly or put a comment in below because I'm more than happy to learn. Like I say, this is my first. It's my second ever hardscape build with polystyrene and grout but it's my second my first ever one that i've ever painted um and actually carved because the last one i didn't even carve but yeah let me know but yeah when the next video is out i'll put it at the end of this video so that you can go to the next one um but other than that ladies and gents as per <sighs> please like comment share subscribe all of the good stuff and we will see you in the next one yeah boy Thank you.